Hello and welcome to Tensile Ground Coffee. A few minutes on ground engineering to enjoy it while having your coffee. Well, it's time for a bit of kitchen soil mechanics again because we've just had a question in from uh, Sandy, Sandy Gravel, and she asks, what is the particle size distribution of a soil? So, using objects in the kitchen, here are examples of some different sizes of particles. So we've got uh, chickpeas here, that will be a gravel size. We've got uh, sugar, which will be a sand size. You can still see the individual particles. And over here, Brian, we've got uh, flour, and that will be a silt size because uh, the particles are too fine to see. So that's how we categorize um, the soil particle size uh, into those groups. There's also clay, which is even smaller than silt. Uh, generally, the larger the particle, the stronger it is, because you get more interparticle friction. With the small particles like silt and clay, if you add a bit of water, actually it sticks together. Like if I added it to this flour, it would get a, become a dough that you can use to make bread. Same thing happens with soil. So those soils, often called cohesive, are very sensitive to the amount of water content that they have in terms of their mechanical properties. But those are the soil sizes on their own. What about a distribution? Let's try mixing uh, some of these uh, soil types. So here we've got uh, chickpeas in a glass. That's a uniform uh, gravel, uh, quite good for drainage because the pore sizes are quite big. But what if uh, I add uh, sugar into here? Keep adding some more, some more. Let's shake it so it falls in a bit. Now, can you see that, Brian? Can you see the sugar going into the void of the, of the chickpeas? Uh, but the volume isn't changing uh, very much. It's just that the smaller particles are filling the voids of the larger particles. So in that way, we're getting higher density. We're adding in more particles, not getting an increase in volume. It means more interparticle friction. It's stronger, it's stiffer. So if you want to create an engineered fill layer, instead of using a uniform material, it's better to use a well-graded material that has lots of different particle sizes so it can pack down much more dense, much stronger, much stiffer. But how do we characterize a soil that has a mixture of soil particles like that? That's where the particle size distribution comes in. So if that came into the laboratory, to measure the distribution, we'd need a lot of sieves. Well, I've only got one in the kitchen here. In the laboratory, we would, we would have a stack of sieves, of lots of different sizes, to see what proportion of the soil volume uh, is taken up by the different sizes. So if I put this one in here, you see how the sand goes through this sieve. That's the sugar while the gravel-sized chickpeas uh, remain on the sieve. So I could weigh this mass here and weigh this mass here, and I would know what proportion is the gravel size and what proportion is the sand size. Now, if you have a stack of sieves, you can combine all that, um, all that information into something we call a grading curve or the particle size distribution. So, it's normally plotted like this with the cumulative percent passing. So that's how much of each size passes through the, the sieve. Cumulative percent passing starting at 100, and down here will be zero, and over here is the particle size. Usually the smallest down this end, clay, silt, sand, gravel. There's 100%. So the uniform materials, such as the chickpeas, would look something like that because um, it's all about the same size. And the sugar would have the sand size about that and the flour, the silt size about that. They all have a uniform grading. So that is their particle size distribution, not very well distributed. But if we were to mix all three of those materials together, we would get a curve that would look something like that. So you see that grading curve is now more at an angle, not so vertical. It is spread across more particle size, so its distribution is more graded. It's a well-graded uh, particle size distribution. So I hope that answered your question, uh, Sandy, uh, about uh, what a particle size distribution of a soil is all about. So that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching and see you next time.